a dark night in a city that knows how to keep its secrets. But one man is still trying to find the answers to life's persistent questions. Guy Noir, Private Eye. It was the end of June, and I was about to head north for some walleye fishing when I got a call from Tanglewood. Mr. Duar, it's John McClure calling. Oh, John McClure, the record producer. Yes, right. yes. Oh, yeah. You uh, produced all those great uh, Bruno Walter and uh, Stravinsky and uh, Leonard Bernstein. Yes, yes, huh? I yeah. did. Uh, listen, I'm a beekeeper up here, and I've been breeding a species of bee that can sing. A singing bee, really? Yeah. In uh -huh. fact, I'm building a choir of them, 10,000 singing bees. I see. Are they Mormon, or...? I haven't asked. <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking that musical animals is the next big thing in classical music. Really? Have you ever heard dogs do Gershwin? Not that I'm aware of, no. Well, I'll tell you, I'm holding auditions Friday. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Unfortunately, my allergies have kicked in, so I sure could use your help. I'll, I'll be there. I'll do my best. So I found a cheap ticket, Minnesota to the Berkshires, aboard Baroque Airlines. My name is Sarah McKee. Attendant today on this authentic period aeroplane. There is no safety equipment at all, but we fly low, so it's not that far to fall. This is your pilot, Wendell H. Yeager, up here in the cockpit here to provide you with an authentic flight exactly as it would have been done in 1915. And so the flight to the Berkshires will take 18 hours <laughs> and will stop six times to refuel. Contact. contact! The other way, other way, contact! I made it out to the Berkshires in the village of Stockbridge. Home of Norman Rockwell, where they pay freckle-faced boys with cowlicks to walk down the street with cane fishing poles. Howdy, mister. I went out to Tanglewood, where Mr. McClure was sitting in his car with the windows rolled up. <coughs> so sorry, it's my... <coughs> it's all right. Allergies. It's all right, sir, you take care of yourself, huh? Oh, thank you, mister. Start the auditions without you. Thank you. The first man in line uh, had a troop of singing starlings. There were 14 of them perched on his left arm, and each one let out a note as he squeezed it. It was interesting, hard to make out the melody, but it might have been Bach. There was a dancing dog who sang songs from West Side Story. <laughs> There was also a singing sheep. There were a couple of ducks, ordinary barnyard ducks, who sang Rock of Ages in duet. There was a woman's trio there. They were holding a loon in their arms. Oh, hi. We came down from Winnipeg. We're the Manitoba Women's Vocal Ensemble. Oh, really? And, and the loon sings too, then? Huh? Sometimes. Uh -huh. We specialize in doing Waylon Jennings songs. Oh, really? Ah. Well, like what, for example? Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Uh -huh. Don't let them guitars and drive them old trucks. Let them be doctors and lawyers and sir. That's not bad, not bad at all, but uh, I, I noticed the loon uh, was not singing on that song here. No. But what, uh, what else do you do then? Oh, rainy day boyfriend, never seem to see you for the good times or the sunshine. You've been a friend of mine, a rainy day boyfriend. 
nice. Uh, I, I, I like it, but uh, you know, maybe you need to find a, a new name for yourselves. Uh, What's wrong with the Manitoba Women's Vocal Ensemble? Manitoba Women's Vocal Ensemble. I know it just sounds kind of formal, you know? I mean, not, not right for outlaw music, no? What would you suggest? Well, why not just call yourself Waylon Jennings? But we don't only do Waylon Jennings, we also do Tammy, Tammy Wynette. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Stand by your man Give him two arms to cling to And something warm to come to When nights are cool and lonely oh, That's nice. That's uh, very nice. I like the loon. The loon obligato. Really good. Good luck with your music there. Okay. Well, yeah. thanks for listening. Yeah, but I think you ought to think about a name change. Okay. How about you, sir? Uh, listen, I know this may seem trashy to you, but I have three cats who sing Gershwin and harmony. Trashy? Uh, Gershwin? No, no. No, I call them O Meow Bambino Caro. <laughs> oh, that's a nice name, anyway. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. But what's this? What's this you got here? Uh, well, I also have three chickens who do Gershwin. Oh. Called the Pullet Surprise. Uh-huh. Uh, sure. uh, uh, listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be a certain similarity between the... Uh, between the cats and the chickens, no? Well, they all grew up in the same barnyard. Uh -huh. And also these three dogs, I call them the Ruths. The Ruths? Yeah, you see, I took them into a cafe once and the waiter said, no dogs allowed, and I told him they could talk, and he said, oh yeah? And I said to this one, what's the opposite of smooth? Uh -huh. And she said, roof. And I said to this one, what do you call the top side of a house? And she said, roof. And I asked this one, who was the greatest hitter in the history of baseball? And she said, Ruth. And the waiter said, get these mutts out of here. Uh -huh. And we went outside, and she said, what was I supposed to say? Ty Cobb? Well, that explains where you got the name, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Sure, anyway. yeah. Thanks. We'll uh, we'll let you know. Okay. We'll be in touch. Be in touch soon. I found Mr. John McClure in his barn. He had a jar full of bumblebees. All right. Let's sing out the whole Here we go. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Pretty talented bees you've got there, sir. Oh, thank you, Mr. Noir. Yes. I trained them myself. Uh, yeah. they, don't, they don't live that long, do they? Well, I have to replace them all about every month. Oh, I see. What's their repertoire there? Uh, oh, uh, just this song, Ode to Joy. Oh, and the, the Flight of the Bumblebee, and uh, In a God of Eda. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Quite, a, quite a range yeah. there. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, by the time they learn all three, they die. So yes. They never get the recognition they deserve. Maybe you should just have them learn one song then. Well, right? then I'd be cheating them out of the experience. So just listen to this here. Let me just get them going here. There we go. Oh. They love that number. Yeah. Love it. Huh? Oh. <laughs> and then they're gone. Yeah. It's tragic, isn't it? I don't know. Seems like a shame. But tragic? I don't know about tragedy. I mean, what is art to a bee, you know? <laughs> to be or not to be. Oh. Either way, it's art. Right. Oh, come here, Art! Art! Oh, your dog is named Art? Yes, right. Uh -huh. well, what does he do? We don't know yet. He knows, but we don't. Uh -huh. 
A dark night in a city that knows how to keep its secrets. But one man is still trying to find the answers to life's persistent questions. Guy Noir, Private Eye. Sue Scott, Tim Russell, Mr. Fred Newman, the D. Gillinardo sisters, and the Wayland Jones.